Now I want you to stay with me because this information could save your career and profoundly change the way that you approach it for the better and for the long haul. Hi, creatives and performers. Let's talk about passion. No, not that kind, get your head out of the gutter. That would be a very different video. I'm talking about the kind of passion that fuels your big dreams. So it's important. How much do you love your craft? Let me say that it is essential that we have passion for our work, especially our craft, that thing that we love, right? But did you know that not all passion is alike or even positive? In fact, the type of passion that you have makes all the difference. So let's take a quick look. Is your passion coming from within you or is it contingent upon whether or not you're getting validation from out there in the world? Could you take a break? Could you even walk away from your passion? The research tells us that there are two types of passion, harmonious and obsessive, and they're set apart by the way that we internalize them into our identity. Harmonious passion, that's the good kind, connects us to meaning and higher creativity, while obsessive passion depends on other people's opinions and it leads to burnout. So how can you tell the difference? With harmonious passion, you are in the driver's seat. You're internally motivated to do something that you really enjoy and care about. The activity is important and satisfying by itself with no strings attached. When you're doing something that you are harmoniously passionate about, you feel free from external limitations. You're in control of your own experience. Time fades into the background and you drop into flow, completely absorbed in a challenging but doable activity. What's more, harmonious passion is protective and promotes self-actualization. It can actually buffer against burnout. Harmonious passion ignites creativity. It keeps you balanced and content. It feeds your soul. So you know what's coming next, right? Obsessive passion. Obsessive passion creates an uncontrollable urge to engage in the activity. You can't let it go. An activity that relies entirely on social acceptance and external approval. In fact, when we're caught in the clutches of obsessive passion, we're almost entirely reliant on external validation. That's not good. We become entirely reliant on other people to tell us how we're doing. In other words, are you even a real actor if you didn't book a series last year? It hurts. Here's the rub. Obsessively passionate folks are ego invested and entirely addicted to their passion, even as it takes over other areas of their lives. So if that's you, what are you left with? A lack of balance, feeling out of control and leaving a trail of neglected relationships in your wake as you take a bullet train to burnout valley. <sighs> Listen, don't go there. Everybody's mean. The landscape is drained of color and the lattes taste like bitter regret. Put very simply, obsessive passion promotes burnout and harmonious passion prevents it. Unfortunately, I had to learn these lessons the hard way. It was painful and I don't recommend it. But Kim, you say, I hate regret sprinkled lattes. How do I know if my passion is harmonious or obsessive? I will tell you all about it in part two. <laughs> Come on over.